Hello, I am Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to edit an image in Adobe Lightroom. So this tutorial is not going to be how to set up your Lightroom, it's just to edit your image. So I have my image right here. You will need a raw image. As you can see right here, you see my image has been taken with the Panasonic GH4. So a Panasonic uh, raw file is created here. So um, it might be another extension than, than your raw image. But once you have your image, just import it in Lightroom and then I will show you how to edit it. So I have it in my library. I will go to the develop tab here and here I can start editing my image. As you can see, my image is very flat. It doesn't contain too much vibrance or saturation. So I will do everything myself. So the exposure is um, okay, I suppose. Um, I will bring down the shadows here a bit so uh, you can see right here the histogram which demonstrates if you're clipping uh, Yeah, bright or dark areas. So uh, you can look at that. I will bring down my blacks maybe just a, a touch here There we go and maybe warm my picture just a little bit. There we go Then I will increase my clarity. So something like 59 and immediately you can see something really nice um, the edges are really popping here and now for the saturation I will take up my saturation, but I will bring down my vibrance and my vibrance uh, my vibrance is actually the orange tones uh, So if I increase here my saturation and there we go Right here we can play with everything else. So the highlights I'm going to keep them as is or maybe increase them just slightly for the light just a little bit less and it's all uh, just experimenting so there's no uh, way to get your image look perfect immediately so every single image uh, might have a different workflow so I'm just demonstrating how I edit one of these images um, but that will not say that um, your image is going to look perfect after just following this tutorial so I will darken everything a little bit here and also up my shadows and then right here I can see that I will have to lift my blacks also so I will lift them like so and there we go we have a little bit of flatness here and now we can darken it even more um, maybe lower the shadows here a bit and then we can go to the hue here and change all the colors so you can actually see that you can shift colors completely we don't really have any reds but right here you can see if you want warm tones yellow tones I will maybe warm it a little bit and then for the greens there are no not much green so I will keep it as it is and then aqua and blue I will play around around with this and see what I can achieve so right here if we just make it like actually the blues are spot on uh, for the yellows or the orange tones we can see in the background there and uh, that we're getting some difference in the sky I will warm my yellow colors just a touch here all right Go to the saturation and we're going to increase our orange tones and our blue tones. And there we go. The greens is not really necessary, so we'll keep it like so. Then for the highlights and shadows, we can also choose a color. For the highlights, I will choose a orange color here. And if you increase the saturation, you can see that my highlights get a uh, color here. So I will pick a color like so. And then just bring down my saturation and then for the shadows uh, we're going to get something blue so blue is the op opposite of orange or uh, yeah this tone so I'll pick blue here and then increase my shadows like so and then we get this nice uh, blue in our shadows maybe lower everything a little bit because uh, we don't want to overdo it but it's already looking pretty great then for the sharpness we can search a spot here on our image that has a lot of detail um, but together with the sky so we can actually see if there is any noise but the noise isn't actually not that big of a problem so I'm going to sharpen it just a touch more then my lens is already pretty good so if you're going to click on enable profile corrections and remove chromatic aberration you're not going to see any difference on this lens because it's actually a pretty good lens uh, but if you have a, a lens that shows the chromatic aberration on the edges of your photo you can remove it here and also lens uh, correction if you're using a wide angle it might be helpful to just enable the profile corrections uh, which is going to make it look better then right here we have the vignetting we can lower that on the edges and immediately you can see that your image is starting to pop um, feather it a lot more I like to feather it and make it soft 
and then uh, shift the midtones here a little bit like so. All right, there we have uh, the camera calibration. Uh, that's something that you can play around with, but actually I barely use it. And this is just to correct your colors from your camera. Um, but that's already looking pretty good. So this is actually my final image. Then you can go over here, remove things, um, remove red eyes, uh, and also maybe make a gradient. So if you want to do something like the bottom should be uh, a little bit darker or it should be lighter, you can make a gradient like this. And then you have the effects right here for that particular spot on your image. You can lighten this up or you can actually darken this. Uh, of course, this is a little bit too intense. So we'll keep it as it is and then play with the contrast maybe. Okay, I will lower the contrast here a little bit and maybe bring up the shadows a little bit more and bring down the highlights. So we get this nice flatness and then increase the saturation maybe a little bit more. And yeah, there we go. We maybe a little bit more sharpness because we all, we have a lot of detail right here. Um, but this is looking good. I will click done. And then if you want to, um, and then if you want to check your final result, uh, you can see right here, this is the before and this is the after. So we really have a, a big difference in our image. And of course you can see right here, we still have these um, uh, things in the C, I'm not sure how to call this in English, but um, right here I will do a remove spot here. I will click on that and make the size small enough. So let's see, uh, this might work. I will click on one of these and then click on the side here, click and click done. You're going to see they're going to disappear. So this is what you should do for all of these to remove them. And this is going to make our image look better, of course. So yeah, um, this is looking pretty nice. And this is how to edit your image in Lightroom. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.